In the Pacific Northwest, conifer trees can be found just about everywhere. They add to our green landscape during the summer, but several types turn color in the winter. And here to show us a f is a few, a few of them is gardening guru Cisco Morris. Come on out. All right. Here he is. Oh, no, oh, no. oh, there we go. We messed up the high five, Cisco. God, I was nervous. You're, you're like the, the plant hero in these parts. Well, I'll tell you what. I love plants. Yes, I know you do. My goal in life is to have one of every plant on earth growing in my garden at the same oh time gosh. and I'm three away now. When so. are we doing the segment from your house? That's where we need to be doing this We will this have from. to do that pretty okay, soon, so, I'll tell you what. But today we're talking about conifer trees. Yeah. Now, are these the same as evergreen or am I an idiot it, for yeah, calling Yeah, these are all evergreen. Okay. And they're conifers, that just means they make cones and oh, they have okay. needles instead of leaves. So these are all different conifers, except for these are heathers right here. Okay. But I brought them along because they change color in the winter. Oh, they're beautiful. But this is what's so weird. Yeah. Some of these pines, not this guy, but most of these pines, yeah. in summer they look like these green needles yes. right here. But yes. when it gets cold, they start turning more and more golden. They're beautiful. More and more golden. This is one from my garden that I just oh, love. It's gorgeous. called Chief Joseph. It, it'll turn four times more gold than really? this and when well, it gets cold. Do the le do the needles drop off or do they stay on and they stay well, that color? Okay, well, no, the needles stay on. The okay. only problem with all pines, you always got some yeah. of these old dead right. needles in there. So, yeah. you know, if you want it to look really cool, you always pull those off. Okay. If you get those out of the way, then when uh, it Just when like they a flower. turn gold, right. oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it'll be a hundred times prettier. Prettier. You know? Now, how big are some of these trees getting? Because can well, we that, plant them in a in a space that isn't you know a ginormous backyard? You know that's the problem. Not many of us have ginormous right. backyards anymore. And in my garden, you know, it's so full of plants. There's hardly anywhere to plant something. Yeah. So. Uh, this is Karsten's uh, this is beautiful. Golden Glow Mugo Pine. Yeah. In 10 years, okay. this is only going to be 2 feet tall and 3 feet wide. Oh, so you could even put this in a, a pot if you, you wanted to. You could put that in a pot. You could do anything. And it'll be green all summer, boring as can be. Right. <laughs> but then in the winter, as soon as it, it starts shines. getting cold, it just comes. Now, this one... You could prune this. Okay. So if you don't want it to get too tall, this is uh, called gold coin scotch pine, and it'll eventually get 20 feet. Okay. But you know, the nice thing about mm -hmm. pines okay. is you can go out there and you can go, all right, I don't want this to get so tall. You got millions of places you could prune. You could prune there. And you're not going to kill it by doing that. Nope. You nope. could prune oh way gosh. down there here. Oh gosh, there it goes. There it goes. So the, yeah. Oh, now so we just got a little pine. So on this one, if I yeah. wanted, I could prune there. That might kill it. But right, okay. <laughs> I better not. I borrowed this from Swanson's Nursery. If I bring it back dead, they're going to oh, be yeah. very now, bad if, at you, me. if you brought just a stick <laughs> back to Swanson's, they're not going to be very happy with you, Cisco. But this pine, I, I, it's quite expensive. Okay. This is brand new. It's called Burke's variegated red pine. And it's brand new because they just, it's just what? Somebody, what does that mean? You know what, a, a lot of these pines, what happens is uh, out of a different kind of pine, mm -hmm. they find a branch that comes out, maybe this was a green pine, and it's got this variegated foliage. Yeah. Someone goes, I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> <laughs> they take cuttings, <laughs> and then they take it to the nursery, and they yeah. grow the cuttings, oh, and uh, now you've got a whole new tree never seen on earth before. Wow. And, it, and this is green during the summer, too, you're saying? Uh, that, no, I, I no. cheated on this you one. You cheated on this one. This one's <laughs> always this color. This All one right, stays Cisco. This color. But it does do one thing, though. What does As it do? it ages, this uh, kind of gray bark mm -hmm. turns bright red as you can get. Oh, really? Oh, it is so spectacular. I if if you grow one of these, you yeah. have to put a box of tissues out next to the plant because grown men burst into tears when they walk by when they see it. How long do you have to wait for it to turn red? How you old know, is this little baby? Well, this baby's quite a youngster. Okay. So I would say it's going to take ten years before ten years. it really gets cool. 
Unfortunately, this one grows pretty fast. It's going to be 30 feet tall and oh, 20 a big feet one. wide. But, but with a bright red, a bright red trunk yeah. that's making men cry. If you if yeah. you got the room for a plant like this, how can you go wrong? You know? I agree. Oh la la. Even oh, la. though it probably costs like 110 bucks or something. Well, it's lasting you a long time. It's taking up a lot of space, so it's yeah. worth the money, right? Yeah, it's worth the money, you know. And uh, gosh, it's just going to be so beautiful. And, I do want to just show these little okay. heathers. These change color. Now, what is it? What is a heather? What does that mean? Heathers are the, they're in the rhododendron family, and they're usually kind of small shrubs, okay. and they don't get real big. This thing will get about a foot tall and maybe three feet wide okay. over time. So this you know? is somewhere good to place where you have a lot of dead space that yeah. you need to fill in. Yeah, it's got to be. All these have to have full sun. Okay. But uh, this one would be green as could be in the summer, That's but look, it's, tur it's called blaze away, and it's yeah. turning all red. This one's called Zoe. Look, well, look at how the cute color this in little there. one is. That is beautiful. I mean, all sorts of different colors yeah. there. Yeah. So, and then they and bloom in the summer. Can you plant too. them now? Is now an okay time to plant things, or do we need to wait till the spring? That's a perfect question because right now is the perfect it time. It is okay because the plants in the warmer weather that yeah. we're having, they'll grow lots of roots. So okay. by spring, when it gets dry mm -hmm. and the sun bakes them and everything. They'll have a good root system. They're okay. ready to go to town. So put your rain jacket on and get brave out there. Get in the rain. Yeah. And it's easier to dig when it's just mud already, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. And yeah. it's fun to dig yeah. in the mud. Get nice and muddy. I, my wife always loves it when I walk in the house covered with oh, mud. Oh, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does. The dog yeah. gets to do it. Why don't I get to I, I give her permission to hose you down next time, okay? <laughs> yeah, just take them out in the backyard that. and hose them down. Thank you so much, Cisco. Oh, These are beautiful you. plants. I love your energy. And after the break, a new Vietnam War Memorial in Auburn that honors American service members and their South Vietnamese counterparts. We'll take a look at the project next.